In this How to Svelte, we're going to make a JavaScript progress bar. And this would be uh, good to use with perhaps an upload input when you have to upload a file. Give some feedback to the user. Let's go ahead and copy the HTML and CSS over to our Svelte REPL. So if we take a look at the CSS, we'll notice that the my bar, which is, represents this green area, is at 1%. And if we change that value, we can see the bar grow. So that's the value that we're going to need to control in order to make this happen. Let's come down here and make an inline style attribute. We'll use the width property and set it to 50% so you can see it's still working. Again, we'll set that to zero. And then we'll abstract this out a little bit and we'll put a variable in here called bar width. Up here in the script tags, we'll declare that. And again, we can give it some values and you can see it works. So we'll start it at zero. And the way we're gonna control this is through a function. And so if we call this function just to see how it works, you can see as soon as it's called, the bar does go there. But now we're not gonna increment in tens, we're gonna increment in ones. And in order to get this to increment over time, what we're gonna do is set up another function that we'll call add color. And we'll actually store this part of make progress there. So now add color, actually all it does is one thing, it adds color to the bar. So within make progress, we'll go ahead and set up a set interval. 10, and now we'll just call this to make sure it's working. Yep, and it does, and it keeps going, and it should, because we need to have conditions to stop it. So the conditions to stop it will be based on this variable. And you can see we're using a set interval, and we're also gonna save this into a variable which we'll call progress. That way we can clear the interval later on when we're not using it anymore. And so let's make a reactive if statement to stop the bar. Let's call the function again, see what happens. And it stops, good. So it's working as we need it to work. So now the question is, is when will this be activated? And normally, if we're going to use this uh, to indicate to somebody who's uploading a file, we would want to have an input with the type of file. So let's go over to W3s and grab one of those. And what we'll do is, since we're using a form, we'll use an on submit, and the on submit will call this function make progress. Now, because this is a form, um, we're going to need to use uh, prevent default here, so it doesn't actually submit anything. Good. So it works right now. I can click the button. It calls the on submit, it goes to the end, and that's fine. Let's go ahead and add a percentage inside here. We can do that just above this div. So now when we click Upload File, the percentage goes along with it. That's good. And the one thing we also want to do is disable this Start button when it's going. That way we can't click it twice. And the way we're going to do that is by creating a Boolean up here. We'll call it Is Active. And when Active is true, then we'll set the disabled property. So in Svelte, this is how you can do it, disabled when active is true. 
So now we have to make sure to set this to true. And then we'll set it back to false after the bar gets up to 100%. So now watch, it'll gray out as soon as I click it. See? It can't be used twice then. But as soon as it gets up to 100, it comes back into play again. Okay, now, so let's make it so that when we click the upload button, but there is no file loaded, that will alert the user to make sure to add a file. So we'll pick a file. Now it should work. Now let's go ahead and after the file is uploaded, let's empty out this input file. And we can do that by setting this value to an empty string. Choose a file, upload, and then the file disappears. The other thing we want to do is let's go ahead and add a reset function. And that will take this bar and set it back down to zero. And we can call this reset right here. That empties out and that goes back down to 0%. The other thing we could do is, is once we start uploading a file, let's say we accidentally included the wrong file, let's make a button to cancel that. And with the cancel button, we'll put an on click. We're not gonna use the on submit. This is gonna be a slightly different thing. So we'll use an on click. We should also prevent default. And what we want to do is just reset bar. We'll just call the same function we just made. So now if I try to upload a file and then I realize, oop, it's the wrong one, I can cancel it. So it looks like what we're going to want to also do is clear interval if we need to. Good, now it stops it. Okay, so we just had to refactor the reset bar function to a clear interval. And now let's also add a message um, after the file has been uploaded that uh, the upload has been complete. So we can do that. Good, so we'll have a message show up once the upload is complete. It'll blink a few times to get, your, to get the user's attention. And then what we need to do is put a condition around this so that it's not showing all the time. And so we basically want to say, so the message goes away. We try to upload a file. It says choose a file. We choose a file. Now we upload. So let's don't reset so quickly. And we get our message to show up. So what we could do here is set a timeout. It'll clear the value out, so let's try that. and then it should clear. Good. The other thing we can do is add a conditional around this. We actually don't need to see this progress bar until a file has been added and then we click upload. So so now that immediately makes the progress bar go away. Let's just test the whole process. We try to click this, it says choose a file. We choose a file, we upload, the progress shows, and then when we're done, the message comes up.
And the last thing we could do is go ahead and use a transition on that message. So let's go ahead and import. And then all we need to do on this H3 tag is to do transition. Now the other thing we could do is do an in and out. So all we have to do is change transition to in, change in to out. So it'll come this way, negative 300 X, and then it'll go out positive 300. That's how you make a progress bar with Svelte.